Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about this 1989 325i E30 and the first five most useful mods to do it right when you get this car. Okay, the first mod, which I think is the best one and you should all do, is the first thing I did when I got the car was replace the control arms, the bushings, basically the whole front suspension. It's a really good thing because mine was all beat up and usually this, like these cars are 25 years old and up. So the best mod to do, the first one that should be, is replacing all the control arms and everything. If you go on CA2.com, they have a whole kit which is around $300 I believe. That you can, like it comes the whole kit and it's not that hard to do. You could look it up videos on YouTube and stuff and you'll know how to replace the whole thing. Okay, for uh, mod number two would be coilovers. Coilovers is like one of the most important things you can do to your car, and it's usually the first thing people do to their car. And um, it's really good for these cars because these cars are great on the canyons, on the track. The only thing you need is coilovers. The stock suspension sucks. When you get coilovers, it it's great at taking turns. Like you can take corners easily. Um, right when I got my coilovers. I've taken an M5 on the canyons, Camaro SS, like it's really easy and it's really helpful and it's a really good mod to do. And uh, a lot of the coilovers range about $1,000, usually like BC coilovers, ground control, all those. The ones I got were about $300 because when I bought the car, I don't have a lot of money. You may not have a lot of money and like some people like are on a budget if you're a student and whatnot. So I have a video down below on the coilovers I made, I got for this car, which cost me only $300. So go check that video out, and I guarantee you won't regret it. The third one to do is uh, wheels. For example, I got 17s because I'm really into the stands and like I'm not really into racing that much. So I got these 17 by 8.5. These are JNC replicas of the BBSs. And uh, I got them for a good price. They're not like, when you start off and you're on a budget, like fake wheels aren't really that bad. So I suggest going with them. And uh, also now I have a set of BBSs, uh, two piece. And uh, I'm gonna be making a video on how to get a real set of BBSs for under a thousand dollars. BBSs usually range about like two thousand to like three thousand dollars for these cars. And, uh, that will be coming out soon so uh, best wheels to get if you're more into track and racing would be 16 inch or 15 inch but for me i went with 17 because i'm more into like looks than uh, racing and speed okay for mod number four would be the interior uh, first thing to do with the interior is changing the steering wheel the stock ones are very big and uh, the best thing i've done to this car is changing that steering wheel um these are way smaller it's way better to control it um don't go with a cheap ebay steering wheel because those bend really quick get something that's reliable around the hundred dollars and uh for the hub i bought a momo hub that cost me about eighty dollars on ebay and uh second of all the seats and the dash the dash is uh like the main problem with these cars because they crack a lot so make sure you have a good dash if you're into racing and stuff and you don't really care about the car then just invest in some racing seats because these seats suck i'm saving up i'm trying to find a good set of the is ones those are way better than ricaros try to find those if you have these they hold your mind a lot better okay, mod number five is going to be the whole exhaust system right now i'm only running a muffler but after i swap out the transmission because some of the headers don't really fit on automatic transmissions after I swap out the transmission, the best mod to do is um, get a good set of headers and then from that you can basically take to a muffler shop, just get a high flow cat or um, if you want don't even run a cat. I'm thinking of not running a cat, having headers, no cat, straight to the muffler. Um, that's really good, it's going to be very loud but who cares. And uh, if you want a cat, I would say get headers, a high flow cat and a muffler. And then these exhaust systems, they come dual. I prefer changing it to a 2.5, just one straight to the back because you have a lot of different mufflers, like choices you can choose from. And um, this one's a Vibrant. I had it changed into a 
because these only come 2.5 they don't fit directly on the E30 and then it's way better than buying the whole exhaust system because a whole exhaust system will run you about like thousand dollars while getting these will only run you about like six seven hundred dollars for like a really good headers like good headers usually run about like four or five hundred dollars you could buy the ebay ones that cost around two hundred dollars but it won't like i've never heard really like rev good reviews about them or anything and um yeah that's about it for mod number five these are the first five mods to do on the car and um i'm gonna show you a little clip